All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hey, this is the day that the Lord have made, and I will rejoice and be glad. And good morning to you, and thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, in the backyard, Pastor Perryman. Hey, as you can see, we're not in the backyard this morning. Um, not because the wind is blowing or anything like that. I just didn't want to go in the backyard this morning. Nah, got a lot of meetings got to come up right after this broadcast is over with. So I just wanted to make sure that I am um, in my set place. So when the meetings start, I'll just be ready to go, right? So good morning to everybody. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Listen, do me a favor. Make sure you share, you like, you tag. You invite, start a watch party this morning. Get other people to come on and be a part of In the Backyard with Pastor Perryman. Today is going to be amazing. It's going to be fit. It's going to, it's going to be lit. It's going to be fire. You want to get, you want to be a part today. Hey, shout out to our Instagram audience, our Facebook live audience. Shout out to my wife who's, who's watching today, Pastor Sophia. Shout out to my beautiful daughter, Ashley Perryman, who's on the day. Hey, shout out to Miss Bam. Shout out to uh, my, my son, my firstborn, Darius Pierre Buckley, who's on the day. Miss Crystal is walking, rocking with us today. Uh, shout out to Miss Donetta Hines, who's on today. Miss Philander Addison Ross is rocking with us today. Uh, shout out to Miss Sheila T. Roby, who's in the house today. Good to see you guys. Thank y'all so much for being on. Miss Kelly Johnson is in the house today. Good to see you guys. Listen, y'all do me a favor. Share, like, tag, invite. Start a watch party this morning. Get other people to come on and be a part of In the Backyard Pastor Perryman. All right. Shout out to Minister Kim Simmons. Shout out to Clinton Powell today, who's on. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Miss Jennifer Smith. Got to give you my pound, girl. Hey, also shout out uh, to Miss Bambi, who's on this morning today. Listen, we got started a little late, but hey, nevertheless, we're going to have a great time in the law. So y'all share, like, tag, invite, start a watch party today, all right? Get other people to come on and be a part of In the Backyard, Pastor Perryman, all right? So let me get some of this amazing coffee my wife made, and we're going to get to it today. Hey, Miss Paulette Martin, good to see you. Cassandra James Moore is in the house. Good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, when we first moved um, to Palmdale, I should say the first summer we had living here in Palmdale, we did not know how hot uh, it gets out here. We, we didn't know that. We just thought that it's just like summer back in LA or in South Central. We didn't know that it gets well over 100 and something degrees out here and the humidity is just off the charts. We didn't know that. So we're sitting in the house one day and it's extra, extremely hot. We got air conditioners going in the house. We got fans going in the house and the house is cooling down, but it's still hot as all get out. I never forget later on that afternoon, I, later on that evening, I should say, I go outside I'm in the backyard. I'm going back there for something. And I realize at that moment, the wind is blowing. And as the wind is blowing, it felt cool. It felt calm. It felt cool. It felt calm this morning, that day. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow, this is refreshing. This is exciting. I sat back there for about five minutes. And I ran inside of the house afterwards to go inside. I turned off the air conditions. I turned the fans off and I opened up all of the windows. And as I'm opening up the windows, the wind is blowing throughout our house. And as it's blowing throughout the house, you could just feel a refreshing in the house. I came to tell somebody this morning <laughs> that a fresh wind is coming your way. For some of you, things have been so hot for you, whether it's hot on the job, whether it's hot in your personal life, whether it's hot in your finances, whether it's, it's hot with your family. I came to tell somebody today a fresh wind is coming your way. This fresh wind is going to revive you. This fresh wind is going to encourage you. This fresh wind is going to refresh you. It's going to excite you. This fresh wind is going to take your life to another level. And what you have to do is you have to be at this place in life where you say, I received my fresh wind. See, this fresh wind is coming not because of how smart you are, not because, not because of how good you are, not because of how intelligent you are, but because of the God that you love. He's looked down and he's seen your situation and seen your circumstance. In the same way that God spoke to Moses through the burning bush and he tells Moses, he says, listen, I've seen the affliction of my people and I have come down to deliver them. And he says to him, I'm sending you to deliver my people. In a sense, he's telling Moses, you are the fresh wind. So here Moses now is being used by God to bring deliverance to a people who need it. I came to tell you today, today is the day that you receive your fresh wind. <laughs> it, it may not seem like it. It may not sound like it. It may not, it may not even look like it in your finances. It may not look like it in your personal life today. 
but God knows what you have need of. And so he's willing to give you a fresh wind today. It's coming your way. I'm talking to some people today. You've been frustrated. You've been irritated. You've been agitated. Things have not been going the way that you want them to go. But a fresh wind is coming your way this morning. And you got to go ahead on and accept that you got to receive it. That a fresh wind is coming your way. See, God is about to give you new doors and new opportunity. That's a fresh wind that's coming your way. He's about to take you to a place that only he knows about. The Bible says it like this. Eyes have not seen, nor have ear heard. Neither have it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love it. So guess what God has for you? He's got a fresh wind for you. And there are people who are watching me today. You've been waiting on a fresh wind. You've been asking God. And you've been saying things to God in prayer. You've been asking him for open doors. You've been asking him to help you. May I tell you today, today is the day that you receive your fresh wind. When the fresh wind comes, it's going to cause something on the inside of you to stand up. How do you know this? The Bible tells us that Ezekiel, the Bible said, Ezekiel is carried out into the valley of dry bones. He's in the Lord's day. He's in the spirit. And he's being carried out into the valley of dry bones. And God asked him the question, son of man, can these bones live? Ezekiel looks around at the bones and he tells God, he says, Lord, you know. He tells Ezekiel to prophesy to the bones. And the Bible said he prophesied to the bones and they stood up. The Bible says sick news came upon each other. The body came together and they stood up. And then he tells Ezekiel to prophesy to the four winds. And he tells him to breathe your breath into these bones. And all of a sudden, Ezekiel prophesies to the four winds and the breath of God comes. The Ruach of God shows up and it breathes into the people. And, and here's what he tells Ezekiel. This is my people. They were dry at one point. They said that I wasn't going to come through for them. They said that I wasn't going to work it out for them. They said that I wasn't going to be there for them. But the reality is I'm coming through for them. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're in a dry place in your life right now. But may I tell you today that as God blows in your life, something on the inside of you is about to stand up. The dream that you had before is about to stand up. The desire that you had before is about to stand up. I'm talking to somebody today. The passion that you had, the passion that you lost, is about to stand up in you again. It's about to be big in you again because a fresh wind is coming your way. You're about to get your joy back. You're about to get your happiness back. You're about to get your peace back. You're about to get your love back. You're about to get your passion back because God's fresh wind is blowing your way. I'm talking to somebody today because there are people who are watching me. You're about, you're entering into a place, for some of you, in a place of depression. Doors are closed and things are not working. I'm entering into a place of depression, pastor. May I tell you today that God's about to blow your depression away? I'm talking to somebody today. He's about to blow your depression away. A fresh wind is coming your way. You are about to get your second wind. I, I never forget. I wasn't no track athlete, but I never forget being in the PE class and, and they had us on the track. And Phil had us on the track out there and they wanted us to race. And then what they did was they put me in the group with a couple of people, put me in a group with, 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 with Sheila Robin's sister, Kathy, Kathy could run. I'm, I wasn't fast as Kathy. I don't think nobody in school was probably fast as Kathy. But, but here I am. I looked over at Kathy. I know I, I can't beat her, but, but I'm, I'm going to get into that, that, that seven lane. The seven lane going to put me in front of everybody. You understand? And once I, once I take off, I'm in front of everybody. I hit that curve. I got a chance now. And I'll never forget as I'm running around that turn and, and I can see her creeping up on me. And I end up getting tired. I don't run track. I play basketball. I don't run this. Thing. I don't do this. But she ends up beating me. And I'm sitting here looking at myself like, what in the world just happened to be? I got beat by her. Watch this now. When I leave off the track for him, I never forget that my friend Aaron Lewis says to me, you didn't let your second win kick in. You didn't get your second win. I didn't know what the heck a second win was. Until after I got out of high school and I start to get revelation and understanding what a second wind is. I'm talking to people today that this refreshing is about to bring a second wind to you. Where you were once ready to give up, where you were once ready to throw in the towel, where you were once ready to just walk away from everything. He's about to give you a refreshing that puts you back on track. You ought to be typing right now. I'm getting my second wind. I'm getting my second wind. It's about to kick in. And when this second wind kicks in into your life, it's going to push you farther than where you ever thought that you could be. A refreshing is coming into your life today. He's sending a fresh wind in your life today. And you got to tap into this thing. You got to accept this thing today. You got to say, today is the day that I receive my fresh wind.
See, God knows where you are. Job says it like this, that God knows the way that I take. And he says, when he has tried me, I'm going to come forth as pure gold. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. God, you're about to take me through this? Psalmist says it like this. We went through the storm and we went through the rain. But you brought us out into a wealthy place. <laughs> a fresh wind is coming your way. It's about to bring you to your wealthy place. I know, I know, I know we're in the COVID-19. I know we're going through some difficulties. I know we're seeing some challenges in the White House today. We're seeing a person who don't walk on, walk away, who don't want to concede. But may I tell you today that even a fresh wind is coming to this nation. A fresh wind is coming to the White House. Everything that was reprehensible is about to be blown away. I'm telling you today that a fresh wind is coming your way. You will prosper in the midst of a pandemic. I'm, I'm talking to somebody today because you have put your dreams on the back burner. You put your desires on the back burner and you have been looking at things from this perspective that this is a season where nothing is going to work for me because of this pandemic, because of this COVID-19. May I tell you today that this is the season that you buy land. This is the season that you build your houses. This is the season that you eat. This is the season that you enjoy your life. This is the season that you do it. Though the storms rage in my life, and the psalm is saying it's hard to tell night from day. The hope that lies within us is reassured that upon this distant shore, I know that he ain't going to lead me <laughs> to a different place, but he's going to lead me to a pleasant place where his prosperity is. I'm talking to somebody today. You better grab a hold of this and tell yourself that today is the day that I get my fresh wind. I get my fresh wind. A fresh wind is coming my way. He's turning things around for me. In the midst of this pandemic, I'm a prosper. In the midst of this, this transition that, that this nation and the church is in, I'm a prosper because a fresh wind is coming my way. I'm talking to people today who, who songwriters today. God dropped a song in your spirit and you had it. You, you, you put it down. You tried to harmonize a little bit to it, but it didn't seem like it was working to you for you because of some things that you were dealing with. So you put it on the back burner. May I tell you today that you need to go get that song and dust it off now? <laughs> because here's what God's about to do. He's about to give you a fresh wind that's coming your way. So he's going to breathe the fresh on your song like never before. He's going to breathe the fresh on your writings like never before. For those of you right now who've been, who've been called to write books and you started writing books, but then you put it down and because you said, I got to write as a block. May I tell you today that he's about to blow on your mind again and he's about to give you a fresh wind on your mind again. So you're about to write like never before. The things that you write are going to blow your mind. The things that you write are going to be revelatory that when you read them, they're going to get you happy. They're going to get you excited because a fresh wind is coming your way. For those of you who has given up hope on relationships because you've been hurt before and because you've been going through too much, May I tell you today that God's going to give you a fresh wind today, that he's going to give you your hope back. He's going to give you your joy back. He's going to give you your peace back, that you're going to look at situations and say, the woman had five husbands and the one that she's with, it wasn't hers at that moment. But here's what Jesus did. He showed up and he gave her a fresh wind. I'm talking to somebody. He gave her a fresh wind at such a point that here's what she started to do. She went out and told everybody, come see a man who told me all about me. What did he do? He gave her her joy back. He gave her her passion back. He revealed to her that she was not thrown away, that there was a man out there who cared more about her than the men that she was dealing with. I'm talking to somebody today. You have given up hope on relationship. But may I tell you today, when a fresh wind is coming your way, when the fresh wind shows up, he's going to show up with a man who's going to love you, love you with your flaws, love you with your stretch marks, love you with your children, love you unconditionally. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to be so happy to the point that you can't help but to give God praise because you know that it had to be God who gave you a fresh wind. For those of you who started out in business and the business didn't work, May I tell you today to get ready to get started again because a fresh wind is coming your way. <laughs> I'm talking to somebody right now. For some of you, the pandemic made you move your business to another place and you kind of decreased a little bit. Ah, get your joy back today, baby. A fresh wind is coming your way. You're about to sell like you've never sold before. You're about to do business on a whole nother level. What God is doing is putting you in a position to where you can't do nothing but trust him. He's putting you in a position where you can't do nothing but seek him. He's putting you in a position where you can't do nothing but keep your eyes on him. A fresh wind is coming your way today. Ha! There are people who are watching me today. You got so much on your plate. 
And in order for you to get all this stuff done, it takes up all of the hours out of your life to the point that you don't have no personal life. You don't have, you are not enjoy everything that you do. is centered around the work that you do. I came to tell you this morning that God is about to give you a fresh wind. A fresh wind is coming your way. You are about to enjoy your life like never before. Some of the things that was on your plate are about to be removed. When God starts to remove things off of your plate, don't you get upset with people because things are being removed. Don't you get upset because things are being taken off your plate. It is God repositioning you so you can enjoy your life. You have not enjoyed your life in 10 years. Your entire life has been wrapped around everything that you do for this business, everything that you do for somebody else, everything that you do for this person and that person, and there is nothing that you're doing for you. You haven't had a pedicure in so long. You haven't had your hair done in so long. You haven't been able to just go sit down and just enjoy you because every waking moment of your life is centered around doing everything for everybody else. But may I tell you today, today is the day that you get a fresh wind. A fresh wind is coming your way. I I'm talking to somebody today because you've been wondering, will I ever get a chance to enjoy my life? <laughs> will I ever get a chance to have peace? Will I ever get a chance to have some joy? I came to tell you today is the day a fresh wind is coming your way. You're about to enjoy your life like never before. For some of you, you ain't been on a vacation. You haven't been on a vacation because you haven't had the money to do so. You haven't been on a vacation because you just, you just ain't been able to do it. Every time you want to, you can't. But today, a fresh wind is coming your way. And you're going to be able to do vacation. You're going to be able to enjoy your vacation. You're not going to just go because somebody else is going. You're going because of you. You might as well get ready today. If your vacation doesn't do nothing but include you just going to the beach and, and taking your shoes off and walking in the sand, walking in the water a little bit, you're about to get your joy back. You're about to get your happiness back. You're about to get your peace back. You're about to get it all back. I I'm talking to somebody today because you haven't enjoyed yourself in a long time. You don't know what it's like to go on a date. You ain't been on a date in years. But may I tell you today, a fresh wind is coming your way. <laughs> You're about to experience happiness like never before. You're about to experience joy like never before. A fresh wind is coming your way. For some of you, you've been going through hell and high water on the job. A fresh wind is coming your way. Well, what do you mean, Pastor? Fresh wind is coming your way. You got staff members. You got people who work with you. You got people who are on the same team with you. People you clock in together with every single day. And they're giving you hell and high water every day. You can't turn for them without their mistakes, their mishaps, their mess ups. And somehow or another, you got to be the one that steps up to fix it. For some, for some unknown reason, you and this person are always bumping heads. You're going through it today. May I tell you today, God's going to give you a fresh wind. And sometimes the fresh wind means that God's going to remove an individual. Sometimes the fresh wind means that God will remove you. Other times the fresh wind means that God will cause y'all to reconcile and work this thing out. But you got to be prepared that if God gives you the fresh wind today, if he removes you and takes you somewhere else, be happy about that because God knows the real thing about you. He's ready to give you your joy. If it means moving somebody else away from you so you can have your fresh wind, you ought to get happy and excited about that and start shouting about that. God, I thank you that you moved her. I thank you that you moved him. I thank you that you got rid of him. You got rid of her. I thank you that you relocated them. You relocated her over here. I thank you that you did that, God. Now I can breathe. The fresh wind is coming my way. See, listen to this. The Holy Spirit has dreams and desires that he's breathing on in your life. But there are times now where he can't breathe what he needs to breathe on you because of who you are connected to. I prophesied to you this morning that a shaking is going to take place. The Bible says when the bones start to come together, that was a shaking. Watch, watch now. What's the shaking? It, it's, it's, it's people going to be shaken out of your life. People are going to be shaken away from you. Some of them will be family members. They'll be shaken out of your life. The things that you've been trying and praying for and crying about and asking God for help for, a shaking is taking place in this and God is going to remove some things because you need a fresh wind in your life. You're at a point where you're ready to give up and ready to throw in the towel and God understands it. So a fresh wind is coming your way. Be prepared for the shaking. Be prepared for friends to walk away from you and you don't know why. 
Be prepared for friends to walk away from you and they don't know why. Be prepared for family members to start speaking to you. They don't know why and you don't know why. Be prepared for God to start removing people out of your life and be prepared for him to reposition you. Be prepared for it today. There are people today you have been so comfortable being where you are and God's about to send the fresh wind to you and the fresh wind entails relocation for you. I'm talking to somebody today because there are people right now who are watching me. You said, I'm ready to go, God. And you know God has put it in your spirit to relocate in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But what you're doing is you're allowing what you see in the natural to hold you back. And what you see in the natural is what the devil wants you to see. But here's what God has in store for you. He has great things in store for you. Pastor, I want to relocate but I'm afraid. What if I get out there and it don't work and I don't make it? You ain't making it now. It's not working now. So what's holding you back? You, you, got, you got to get up. You got to go and take the leap of faith. See, see, faith is not, faith is not taking a step knowing where you're going and knowing how it's going to work. Faith is taking a step not knowing how it's going to work, but trusting and believing God that he got your back. I'm talking to somebody today because you've been stagnant, you've been stuck, and you've been unsettled. But here is God in the midst of all of this, in the midst of your stagnation, in the midst of you being unsettled. He's ready to settle you and to stabilize you. And he's doing it by giving you a fresh wind. When the fresh wind shows up, the Holy Spirit is going to breathe new ideas into your life. For some of you, you've been praying. And it seems like as if God has not answered you. I came to tell you this morning that he's going to give you new ideas. He's going to give you new insights. He's going to give you new concepts. Because the Holy Spirit knows the heart of God. And so he's now going to convey the wisdom and the will of God for your life. There are people who are watching me today and, and you don't even know what the will of God is for your life. You've been shooting in the dark and missing all of your life. But that day comes to an end now. The fresh wind is coming your way. Holy Spirit is breathing on you. For some of you, this thing is resonating in your spirit that you know you are supposed to relocate. For some of you, it's resonating in your spirit that you know that you are supposed to dust that song off. You know you're supposed to dust your book off. You know that you are supposed to reconcile and be recommitted and reconnected. You know this. It's going off in your spirit today. I came to tell you today that a fresh wind is blowing in your life today. It's coming your way. You don't have to worry about how hot things are going to get. You don't have to worry about how this bill is going to get paid, how that's going to get paid, how this is going to work. For some of you, you need a fresh wind from your children. You are too busy worrying about your children. Your children are grown and you're still worrying about them. For some of you, you, you are so super saved to the point that you're so worried about your child because of the way that they live. Perhaps my child ain't going to go to heaven. And so you're crying out to God. May I tell you today that God is giving you a fresh wind and it's coming your way? What's the fresh wind concerning your children? He made a promise to you and that was he would save you and your household so your children will be saved regardless of the life that they're living, regardless of what's going on in their life. They may not be in church now, but may I tell you today the fresh wind is going to settle them and bring them into a place of relationship with him. You can't panic. You can't give up. You can't cave in. You can't quit. You can't look at things in a different way just because you see their actions. What are you looking at? You have to look at what God has said and not what the devil is showing you. Maybe your child is living a promiscuous lifestyle. Maybe your child is facing an identity crisis today. Maybe your child is in prison today. Maybe your child has, is lazy and maybe your child is talk backish. I don't know if talk backish is a word, but Minister Kim, let me have that word for a moment. To talk backishness. I don't know if that's a word, but I created it anyway. Maybe your kid is talking back a lot. Maybe your kid has no get up and go about themselves. Maybe your kid is unsettled about their life. Maybe your kid is grown and maybe your kid is still totally depending on you for everything. I came to tell you this morning that he, he, he's going to give you a fresh wind that's coming your way and he's going to blow them problems away from you. And there are people who are watching me. You're worrying too much and you're worried about things that you shouldn't be worried about. You're worried about him because you haven't cast your cares on him. You, you, you're worried about it because you haven't put it in his hands. See, when you put it in the hands of God, It'll be worked out. But as long as you hold on to it, it'll never be worked out. As long as you try to figure it out, God can't work it out for you. 
As long as you're in the way, trying to do it yourself, you stop God from showing up in your life. And there are people today, you are worried about every single thing. And what you're doing is robbing God of his ability to turn things around for you. You're robbing him of his ability to do so. He's ready to breathe afresh into your life. The Bible said, eyes have not seen nor have ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. God has a prepared place for you. He's got prepared purpose for you. He's got prepared prosperity for you. But it's all found in God's prepared plan. I'm talking to somebody today right there. You, you better grab a hold of this thing today. A fresh wind is coming your way. When it looks like all hell is breaking loose in your life today and the devil will come to try you, you have to say a fresh wind is coming my way today. And God's going to blow the frustration away. He's going to blow the irritation away. He's going to blow the agitation away. He's going to blow my insecurities away. He's going to blow it away today. He's going to blow it away. You got to hold fast to that. For those of you who own a job and maybe you're leading a team today. And every time you turn around, the team is constantly bringing you issues and bringing you problems. And they have forgotten that you're a human. You're going to have to take the time to realize and to know that a fresh wind is coming your way. <laughs> When that one co-worker gets on your nerves, you got to remember that God has given you a fresh wind today. A fresh wind is coming your way. You got to believe that. You got to trust that. Years ago, God told me to command the four winds to give up. And I started praying that, not knowing what it all meant. Until one day I got in the word and started studying what the west wind does, what the east wind does, what the south wind does, what the north wind does. And I got a revelation and I started commanding the four winds with understanding. So I command the four winds to give up every single day in my life. I command the four winds to give up every single day in my church's life. And I command the four winds to give up every single day on in the backyard. I command it to give up. I command it to yield its people, its peace, its prosperity, its professional people to me. I command wealth to show up. I command it to, I command the four winds to blow insecurity away. I command the four winds to blow sickness and disease away. I command the four winds to blow uh, 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 peace into my life. I command it to blow. Today is the day that you're going to have to command the four winds to blow in your life today. <laughs> He's sending the fresh wind for you today. It's coming your way. For some of you, you just need some peace in your body right now. A fresh wind is coming your way. <laughs> For some of you, you just need some wisdom on how to do a certain thing. A fresh wind is coming your way today. For others of you, some of you just need to know how to deal with an issue and how to come out of it. A fresh wind is coming your way. It's coming your way today. The song said, I feel a breakthrough that's coming your way. <laughs> it's a mighty move of God. It is going to change your day. Signs and wonders, miracles to perform. <laughs> A move of God is on his way. It's on his way. I feel a breakthrough coming today. I'm talking to somebody. A fresh wind is coming your way today. <laughs> Let me get out this thing today. I pray you were blessed this morning. I pray you were encouraged today. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I pray your life was transformed and changed. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, for those of you who have lost loved ones, a fresh wind is coming your way. A fresh wind of peace is coming your way today. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all better come on and grab a hold of this. A fresh wind is coming your way. I'm talking specifically now to those of you who have relationship issues right now. A fresh wind is coming your way in your relationship. It's coming your way. A fresh wind is coming your way. All the arguments that you've been having in the house, all of the nuns speaking, that y'all do in the house toward each other, eh, that stuff is about to shift and about to change. For those of you who are in the house and you don't even have intimacy anymore, if you do, it's rarely a fresh wind is coming your way. You're about to get your passion back. You're about to get it back. A fresh wind is coming your way. It's coming your way. <laughs> oh my God, let me get off this thing today. Listen, I'm getting ready to pray for you today. And, um, I'm praying um, for my guy, Kalen Kennebrew, today. Uh, he sent me a text message right now. Um, uh, today is his mom's birthday. His mom went home to be with the Lord, so today is his mom's birthday. And, uh, man, her birthday was the day after his birthday. And so um, 
he needs a fresh wind in his life right now too. You know, when you're close to somebody and you lose them, it's a painful thing because you remember their death, you remember their birthday, and those things become painful on you. Uh, and those things subside as time goes on. So listen, let's, we're going to pray for him. But I'm praying for you today that you will receive the fresh wind that God has for you. Hey, Miss Benita, good to see you. Thank you so much for being on. Miss Shirley Powell is in the house. Good to see you. Thank you so much for being on. Byron Williams is rocking with us. Miss Karen Yates is with us today. Listen, I'm praying for Karen today. I'm praying for Karen today. And, and I'm really praying that a fresh wind, a boldness, and courage would come her way. A fresh wind of boldness and courage will come her way. And some of y'all say, why, why are you praying that for her? Because of the prophetic mantle that God gave her, it's not the yay, yay, yay prophet. Thus saith the Lord, but it's prophetic in writing. These things have to go boldly out, not just to a community or to an individual, but to a nation. And sometimes what the enemy does is he wants people who, he, who God has called to feel as if somebody's feelings are going to be hurt. Make people feel as if what they say will offend people. And, and it's not the truth at all. People are in a season now where they need to hear what thus saith the Lord says. And know that scripture supports it. So I'm praying for her today as well. Um, and I know uh, Philander just put somebody on right now. We're going to pray for that individual as well. And so y'all get in agreement with me right now. The Bible said, if any two of us are touching and agree concerning anything on this earth, it shall be done for us. Who is it that's, who is it that's making a move? Who, there's somebody on here that you're contemplating about your move, that you know you're supposed to relocate, but you keep pushing it off because of fear. Who are you? You are on here. If you're on here, just say it's me. I'm going to pray for you today for that spirit of fear to be removed off of your life. It's time for you to relocate. It's time for you to relocate. You know you're supposed to relocate. So whoever you are, you're on here. You're on here. You got you got to put it out, type it out here today. You're on here. I'm ready to pray for you today. You got a couple minutes before I get ready to get into another meeting. But listen, I'm ready to pray for you today. The Spirit of the Lord is present. A fresh wind is coming your way. Whoever you are, you know you are trying, you're supposed to relocate, whether it's relocate from one, one state to another, uh, whether it's relocate from one job to another, whether it's moving, somebody said it's me, whether it's moving uh, 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 out of the house you're in to another house, you know you're supposed to relocate. Whoever you are, you got to put yourself on the screen. Let me know. It's you. I'm ready to pray for you today. It's it, you on here. There's at least two or three more other you on here today. Now, come on. Let us know so we can pray for you right now because the spirit of fear is holding you back. You're trying to figure out what happens if this happens. I don't have this. I don't have that. You got to get rid of all of that. It, it's your time. It's your time. It's your season. It's your time. It's your season. All right. Hey, Prophet Kathy, good to see you. It's your time. It's your season. A fresh wind is coming your way. Whoever you are, all right, somebody said it's us for our home. You ready to relocate? You know it's been in your spirit to relocate. Oh, my daughter. Okay, all right. Uh, wherever you relocate to, dad going with you. And <laughs> make sure I keep an eye on you. <laughs> but anyway, who else? Come on, there's a couple more of you on here. Somebody said, it's me. You know you're supposed to relocate. You know, you know, you know, you know you're supposed to relocate and you've been grappling with it. All right. I see that's four people right now. Come on. There's another one of you on here right now. You know you're supposed to relocate and, and you, you've you been grappling with this thing. Somebody said, it's me from a job. All right. All right. All right. We're going to Arizona. Okay. I'm going to talk to you because I, I, know, I know your sister's in Arizona. So let me, I'm, I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> Let me pray for you because I'm thinking I might have to go to Arizona and move across the hall from you or something or move the next door to you or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me pray for y'all right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up Kalen Kennebrew and his family today. I pray for peace and comfort with them today. I ask in Jesus' name, God, that you would console them in this tough hour, God, of remembering their mother's birthday. God, I thank you for it now in Jesus' name. 
Father, I lift up Philander's friend today. I ask in Jesus' name for comfort and for peace in her life. I pray for total deliverance in her life now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I give you praise today. I pray for Karen Yates this morning. I pray, God, for the spirit of boldness, the spirit of courage, God, and the spirit of strength to be on her like never before. That, God, when she writes, she'll write prophetically, God, to your glory. But not only that, God, she'll write, God, with no thoughts in her head of what people will think, God. But she will know beyond the shadow of a doubt that this is your words, God, and your words will transform and change the lives of people. Not only will it change people in this country, but it'll change people in other countries as well. And God, I thank you for it. For those, God, who have been called to write, God, I declare and decree a fresh wind over them today, God, and they will write to your glory. For those who have been called to sing songs, God, and to write songs, God, they will sing the song and write songs unto your glory, O oh God. A fresh wind comes to them. For those, God, who have been called to relocate, and you put it in their spirit, whether it's relocating from one house to another, whether it's relocating from one job to another, whether it's relocating from one state to another, God. I pray in the name of Jesus for open doors for them. I pray for peace and prosperity for them. I pray for the financial blessing that they need now in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you that fear is eradicated off of them now. And God, I thank you right now that you are pushing them. Now, Father, stir up their hearts more and more and more to look unto you for help and for you to show them. For those, God, who are looking to move in the midst of this pandemic, God, you said that we will build houses in the midst of pandemics. We will enjoy ourselves in the midst of pandemics. And God, I thank you right now in Jesus' name that it is so. And we give you praise and glory for it. Now, Father, I lift up my town, Itabina, Mississippi, I declare and decree that Itabina is blessed. I declare and decree now in Jesus' name that Itabina shall recover from a fall. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, that false leadership is coming down and destroyed and you're replacing it with new governing authority today. And Lord, we give you praise and glory for it. Now, Father, we speak the blessing over the Delta as a whole. And God, I thank you that the Delta is blessed. Now, Father, we lift up the country of Belize and we pray for every Belizean citizen now. We pray for their peace, their prosperity, their healing, their deliverance, God. But we pray for divine favor to be over them now. And God, I thank you that even those who are in parliament, those who are in high positions, God, in government, that you're depositing wisdom in them to lead the country. And Lord, I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right. Get your seed in the ground today. Go to our website at kingdomlifefaithcenter.org. Click on the online giving button there and get your seed in the ground today. Uh, don't let the devil stop you from giving. Don't let him tell you that you can't give today. But get your seed in the ground. If you've been blessed by this message today, you know that this is for you and you know that a fresh wind is coming your way. Hey, get your seed in the ground today. No seed is too big or too small. Get it in the ground today. So go to our website or, or you can just do it through the cash app. The cash app is the dollar sign, Pastor C. Perryman. Again, the dollar sign, Pastor C. Perryman. Get it in the ground today. Uh, for those of you who want to sow directly to my wife, for her, you can do that. You can do it through the dollar sign, Pastor Sophia. Get it in the ground today. If you want to sow through our website, you can do that as well. Uh, the website, uh, you can go to our website at kingdomlifefaithcenter.org. Click on the online giving button there and get your seed in the ground today. Listen, if you want to partner with our ministry, um, you want to be a part of Vision Impact Giving, hey, do that. Go to our website at kingdomlifefaithcenter.org. Click on the online giving button. Get your seed in the ground. You'll see the, uh, uh, the, the link that says Vision Impact Giving. Hey, get it in the ground. We're doing some great things. Our new website will be up and running, they said to me, in about two weeks two to three weeks, our app, our new uh, church app will be up and running in about two to three weeks as well. So that's why Pastor got all these meetings today. I think I got a meeting, Miss Philander, every hour on the hour today for five hours straight. So, um, hey, we're working on some things. I'm telling you, God is in the blessing business. And listen, if you're watching me today, you don't have a church home and you want to make Kingdom Life Faith Center your church home, come on, connect with us. Be a part of the ministry. You can ride with us. You can go to the next level with us. Listen, you, you, you're you going to be connected to pastors who love you, pastors who call you, pastors who check on you, pastors who truly pray for you for real, for real, who don't play around with this thing. So come on, be a part. You say, but pastor, I live in another state. Don't matter if you live in another state. Same grace and same anointing. That's on me. 
God, and all my wife will be on you. I'm telling you, there's no distance in the spirit. We have people who join our ministry who live in Indianapolis, people who live in Mississippi, people who live, uh, uh, I think we even got somebody, I think my wife said uh, New York or something. I think she said, listen, people are joining the ministry. Come on, be a part of this. If this ministry has been blessing you, you listen to me every single day, come on. You know I'm pouring into your life. So come on and connect with us and let us go to the next level together, all right? Hey, don't forget our new podcast is coming about. It's going to be uh, first Monday in December. Hey, where, where, where my spiritual father, Apostle Fred L. Hodge, is going to be my first guest. Man, it's going to be lit. It's going to be fire. And uh, man, we're going to be talking about the father-son relationship, how important it is in life, in ministry, in business. So y'all got to come on and connect. I'm telling you, it's going to be lit. It's going to be fire. Y'all come on, be a part, all right? So listen, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Don't forget, remember we said we don't believe in team I, we believe in team we. We are a team, so for every soul we win, for every life we change, for every person who gets built up, you're going to get credit for it because you're a part of the team, all right? Hey, shout out, special shout out to Miss uh, Jennifer Smith. I'm declaring today over Jennifer Smith's life that a fresh wind is showing up in every area of her life today every area that she needs. And today you'll be able to name the area that you need a fresh wind in today. So it's your season, it's your day. All right, listen, I gotta go. But hey, we even gonna have a broadcast that's gonna come out on one of my podcasts where we are gonna talk about let the prophets speak. And the prophets are gonna talk about what they're hearing God say in this season. It's coming, it's coming. So y'all pray for us, be a part of this and do me a favor, patronize my wife's business, all right? And she got fashion boutique, listen, she got high. She got high end uh, 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 product at low end prices. So connect with her. It's gonna bless your life. All right. I'm gonna ask her to put her information on the screen so y'all can partner with her and, and check her product out. All right. So hey, love y'all. Be blessed. We'll see y'all again tomorrow morning in Jesus' name. Love y'all.